In this video, we're going to talk about everything you need to know to ace your machine learning conceptual interviews. My name is Nema, and I'm a product manager and former machine learning and mobile engineer at a big tech company. The ML concept interview typically lasts about 45 minutes. It's designed to test your understanding of fundamental machine learning principles. Depending on the company, this interview may be called something else, like an ML technical assessment or ML theory interview. This interview is for candidates at all levels, junior, mid-level, and senior, and follows a rapid-fire Q&A format. Because the scope of machine learning is broad, the interviewer could ask you any number of questions. However, we've identified four major categories you should prepare for. Number one, data handling. For example, what are some common transformations for categorical data? Number two, model selection and optimization. For instance, describe how splits in a decision tree occur. Number three, evaluation methods and metrics, such as explain when accuracy would be a good metric and a bad metric for measuring model performance. And number four, ML in production. For example, how do you know when it's time to replace an ML model in production? By the way, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to check out Exponent's complete machine learning interview course, featuring hours of ML mock interviews, real-world coding practice, and machine learning system design deep dives. Start for free on tryexponent.com. In the ML Concepts interview, you're judged on how well you understand the fundamentals of machine learning, what interviewers look for. In the ML Concepts interview, you're judged on how well you understand the fundamentals of machine learning, how you work with relevant data sets, and how you communicate your findings. Interviewers are looking for candidates who can train, implement, and launch a fully functioning ML model on the job. A successful candidate should be able to source and transform data into a workable format, choose an appropriate model, and discuss the bias variance trade-off, identify a loss function and an optimization plan, evaluate the model's performance, and discuss deploying the model to production. Senior candidates should also be able to correct model failures during training and production and have domain expertise in fields like computer vision, neural language processing, or recommendation systems. Next, let's dive a little deeper into each type of interview question and some other examples. Data handling. First, data handling, or data wrangling. That's the process of transforming raw data into valuable signals for ML models. A significant portion of your work will involve this category. We're building a recommendations engine with 10,000 features. How might we reduce the input? Optimization. Next, optimization covers loss functions, hyperparameters, and different optimizers. A potential question could include, we want to reduce the complexity of our model. How can we construct a loss function that values our priorities? Evaluation. Next, evaluation includes interpreting and calculating metrics for ML models. You might get asked, how do you know your recommendation engine is working well? What metrics would you use? Finally, model production involves deriving signals from A-B testing, incorporating telemetry data, and recognizing when to refresh or replace a model. A potential question could be, how can we tell when a model needs to be refreshed? Senior candidates should show knowledge of when to refresh or replace a model with concrete examples. And that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. We hope this advice can help you ace your upcoming machine learning conceptual interviews. Be sure to check out Exponent's machine learning interview prep course in the description below, and we'll see you in the next video.